Welcome back to Real Britain with me, Darren Grimes. Thank you very much for your company. Now, folks, two days ago, as this nation united to kick off the Jubilee celebrations, one left-wing group chose to sabotage, attempt to sabotage, the event outside of Buckingham Palace and turn attention to themselves by lying down in front of the marching soldiers. The crowds, unsurprisingly, booed. The group was called Animal Rebellion, who, despite lots of evidence to the contrary, claim livestock farming is harming the planet and want to see animals given similar rights to human beings. One of the demonstrators, according to the Mail, was a former plane airline pilot who summed up their mes methods as doing stupid... I won't finish that word... like this and facing a prison sentence. How lovely. And how democratic, eh? The Met have confirmed that 12 arrests have been made of those who attempted to enter the ceremonial route on the mall, and they have been arrested. But with me now is the spokesperson for Animal Rebellion, Robert Gordon. Robert, can I just start by asking you that, that most fundamental of questions? What makes you think you've got the right to disrupt a day that is so important to millions of people in this country, who are watching the armed forces and feel immense pride at what the armed forces are actually marching in the name of? Yeah, well, we were there, uh, there on Thursday not to ruin anyone's day, not to ruin the celebrations, but to draw really important awareness to the climate and environmental crises that we face. And as you say, we're drawing attention to the fact that animal farming is one of the biggest contributors to this crisis, where we see 80% of farmed land, all farmed land, goes towards producing animals for, for meat and dairy when they produce only eight, less than 20% of the calories that we eat. So we've got this incredible inefficiency, um, and we're celebrating this billion-dollar jubilee whilst people are unable to feed themselves and relying on food banks in the UK. So we think that's a crime, and we'd like to see a transition to a plant-based food system. This is our solution, where people don't go hungry, where the environment isn't destroyed. How much farmland and uh, trees being chopped down and all the rest of it are being made in the name of putting up these solar panel farms that I'm assuming you're in favour of as well? Well, what I can tell you is that the majority of deforested land is as a result of growing crops to feed animals in factory farms, uh, many of which are in the UK. You know, when we kill more than a billion animals each year in the UK, that requires a significant amount of land to feed them. So we're saying give that land just to crops, don't inefficiently cycle it through animals, um, and you free up a significant amount of land, up to 76% of the land that we use for farming. So how um, much and land you can plant trees be, on that. You can put solar panels land, on that instead. How much land would we actually need then to move to a plant-based diet? Well, we'd need 76% land, land is what we're... What, the science, what the scientists are telling us, that if you transition to a plant-based food system, you use 76% less land, which is more space than the whole of Australia, the United States and England. Right. Well, I think that's a little bit panglossy in that figure. But if you actually believe the stats, and I don't doubt that you, you, you are sincere and genuine in what you say, why don't you actually stand for political office, actually try and get yourself elected on this ticket of basically outlaw, and I'm assuming that's what you want to do, the sale of these meats to the British people? Um, well, you know what? We've tried writing to our MPs. We've tried writing these petitions. The reality no, is... No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. Stand for office yourself. Yeah. Get the British people. Put your yourself on the line there and say, I am actually putting myself at the mercy of the ballot box... You can vote for me, you can vote for my platform to get rid of meat, to eradicate the menace of the killing of animals for food. Why don't you actually do that? And then people might have a little bit more respect for what you're doing. I have no doubt that many people within our group, including myself, are standing for office next time or have stood before. You know, we've got councillors with us, we've got um, doctors, scientists, um, and we we we. Are, pursuing every avenue we can. And the reality is we've seen in the past that putting our liberty on the line and going out and causing this disruption, however 
um, unpleasant it might be for a short while, it achieves the change that we need. And the cha that change is to transition to a plant-based future, rewild the land that we free up, and ensure that we have a livable future for years to come. And that, that that's a future that's in jeopardy right now and that we're being told if we don't act now in the next two to three years and pursue these urgent transformative changes, then we won't be able to survive. Right. And I, I've, I've heard that one before. But the, the, the capitalism point, you actually argue, correct me if I'm wrong, that capitalism is the root cause of much of our problems. Um, I'm not sure where you necessarily saw that. Uh, it's in an op-ed that, that your outfit wrote. Okay, I've not read that particular op-ed, um, but our message for this action was really clear that we need to reclaim royal land, that they're the largest landowners in the UK, um, and they have a responsibility to, instead of using this land for meat and dairy farming, which we know is bad for the environment, and blood sports like hunting and shooting, they could help their farmers transition to a plant-based uh, food production. Right. And rewild the freed up land, plant trees. Yeah, you've um, said and that. And absorb carbon from the atmosphere. If capitalism is the problem, though, and the profit motive is the problem, which is what's said, it, being responsible for, for environmental issues, can you tell me which economy around the world that doesn't value the profit motive, so a communist country or a socialist country, which country around the world has adopted a fully vegan diet? Because I don't know about you, but I struggle to see Kim Jong-un in North Korea living on a diet of quinoa salads. And I really, really struggle to find any historic evidence that the Soviet Union, for example, was especially kind to the environment. They had other priorities, Robert, like not starving to death. Of course, and there's no one single problem. That's why we need a whole range of solutions. Um, and certainly, I'm sure capitalism isn't the only problem. Um, I've, kind of, I've outlined the problem today, and what we're doing is we're coming in and we're saying that we don't just have a problem. It's not all doom and gloom. We're coming with a solution that the scientists around the world are recommending um, and showing that we can ensure a livable future by transitioning to a plant-based food system. Well, why should that's people... in a capitalist economy or otherwise. OK, so why should people, though, watching this agree with, with your outfit and think, right, I, I, I'll get behind you guys. I think you are doing great stuff. Why would they do that when you can't even agree with each other? As I say, that, that was in that op-ed that I've just read this morning, went through it with till my heart's content in the Bristol Post, it was, to find out why you guys are, are protesting today. And actually... Given that the, the, this nation is featuring generation-defining cost of living crises, would what you're advocating not actually make us poorer, not actually make us colder, and actually the British people should give you lot very short shrift? Well, the cost of living crisis that we're facing is in part as a result of the, the system of food production within which we live, where you have a significant energy intensive industrialized farming system where barrels of oil go into producing uh, food. So if we transition to plant-based farming, we free up this land, you know, we it's less energy intensive. Okay, like Robert Gordon, I'm sorry, but food, you can feed everyone. Robert, uh, I'm going to have to stop you there. The cost of living crisis. I'm going to have to stop you there because I th I'm afraid that I find that risable nonsense. I really, really, really do. I, the cost of living crisis, people in the supermarkets struggling to actually get to the till point and pay for what it is that they're buying. Picking up these vegan goods exclusively, being prohibited from farmers doing business on the market is not going to improve the cost of living crisis. I really, really think that that's disingenuous. But Animal Rebellion spokesperson Robert Gordon, thank you very much for your time.